All right, guys. So, wanted to make a video for Coda here. As you can tell, the quarantine got me pretty hard. Uh, for those of you guys who've been watching the channel, you know we have. I've got Remy, um, but I really wanted a pointer. And with quarantine, we've been having to work from home, and so I found Coda here. He's an English setter, which we've had a long time ago. But found him. Really liked what he what he looked like and the pointer got to me so we picked up Coda here he's four months old now we've had him since he was uh, 10 weeks old but I just haven't had really made any videos on it uh, this is going to be kind of an introduction to pointing and if you follow along in kind of a series over time you'll kind of see how he progresses um, in the past we've done this a lot with some of our dogs uh, Boomer we had a video on with him where we introduced him, uh, I think, in, I'm not sure how old he was in that video, but we actually had him pointing at like seven, seven and a half weeks old. And uh, I tried with Coda when he was about 11 or 12 weeks old, and he didn't have any interest in pointing, he just wanted to flush it. So I did some research on it, and I actually found that setters are slower developing, they say, and that's totally what happened with him. We started noticing he was pointing when he was playing with Remy, now every time we go on a walk with him he's just hunting and he's pointing birds by sight and that's what i want to show you guys with this drill this is something that i learned in the past uh, year or so um, this this drill is really good to really try to get those photos of the dog see try to bring out that natural pointing ability the goal with the drill is to not let the dog catch it so he's gonna so he locks up there so you don't want the dog to catch it and this is just bringing out his pointing ability. You can go in and try to straighten up his tail. That's a pretty point there. But the main goal is when he jumps at it, which he's really good at letting me walk up. Good boy! You don't want to do this too much because he's pointing it all by sight. And the issue, the issue with dogs anymore is the fact that, you know, he lives in a yard where he can see. He lives in an area where he can see he can see this wing and he's not necessarily pointing it because he can smell it but he's pointing it because he can see it and he knows he needs to be pointing that's a pretty point whoa 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 and then break it off good boy good boy so this is really something just to really start show there's really not much more to it good boy so now he's excited this isn't really something that you want to do all the time with him. From here on out, we need to start progressing with him and getting him more in environments. Go boy! Getting him environments where, hey, we got to start using our nose more. We got to pick up, pick up the birds by our nose. So this is a good start. This is something that I would recommend everybody start to do. And from here, just follow along and we'll uh, go from there. But this is a really fun way to just kind of bring out that natural pointing ability. He's a puppy, so he's gonna get excited. He's gonna do those things. But we wanna see things, good lock, whoop. Good lockups like that. And he'll really start progressing nice. here on out. So it's a really short video, but I wanted to showcase this first. Good boy, whoop. I really wanna showcase this first because this is the, the primary start, the foundation. Get him on these points, get him really locking in and you can take good photos like that. That's a pretty dog. Good boy. Good. It's a long hold for him. Good wow. boy. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up. Stay tuned if you guys are interested in more like training videos. I kind of didn't do the best with Remy. I just kind of, I didn't train him too much with the pheasant wing because I ended up getting Coda here. So I will be hunting the two dogs together. Totally different uh, breeds, totally different breed habits. But I think I can train Remy enough where if you tell him whoa and we train him whoa, he can honor Coda's points. And that's what we want to work towards. So that's just a start. If you guys want to be able to take your dog and get some good training instincts out of them, this is a good start. But once you start seeing him do that, what we just witnessed here, it's time to move on. It's time to start, you know, getting him to understand that we're looking for the scent. And we're not just looking for the sight. So uh, in the next couple weeks, I'll show you guys what I've been doing there too and uh, go from there. So yeah, thanks for watching. If you guys liked the video, make sure you hit thumbs up button and to subscribe to see more dog training content or hunting content in general. So 
Thanks for watching. We'll see everybody in the next one. Say bye, Coda. Say Ooh. bye. <laughs> hey, Coda. 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 <laughs> Come here. <laughs> He's such a funny guy.